hello everyone and today in this YouTube video I'm going to be showing you pretty much everything you need to know about the Razer Synops 3 software only exclusive to Windows. So yes it is in beta and it, it's only for Windows so you can't get it for Mac. Um, but I have a Razer keyboard right here and I'm going to be showing you how to use the Synops software to change the lighting on it. So Basically, when you get a new Razer keyboard and you spend like hundreds of dollars on it, you're going to want to know how to, how to change the lighting from the default, which is terrible. So, yeah. So, you need the Synops software, and you can download it from Razer's website. So, all you do is you go to Chrome, and then you type in Razer Synops. And then, once you're here, you click on the Synops software. And then, here is their website, and it is only for Windows 10. 8 and Windows 7 and this is what the software kind of looks like here and yeah so I'm going to be showing you everything about the Synops software so I have it right here full screen it okay so starting off with everything here this stuff here doesn't matter here right here doesn't matter this is your device so I, I have one device from Razer the Razer Huntsman and that's my gaming keyboard and these, this is your game mode, and what game mode does is it disables the Windows key, you know, the one that does this. It disables the Windows key, and basically, it helps you to not, like, tab out of your game. So, like, it disables the, it disables Alt-Tab, and it also, it also disables the Windows key. So, I have it turned off right now, so that means if I press the Windows key, it activates the start menu right here. So, yeah. Uh, I have it turned off, and you could choose it to turn off the Windows key, turn off the Alt Tab key, and disable the Alt F4 key. And Alt F4 basically closes your game, which nobody wants to do that. And keyboard properties that opens your Windows keyboard properties. So you could choose different things like your repeat delay, repeat rate. You could hold down a key to set the repeat the repeat rate. You could do cursor blink rate, so we could do really fast or really slow. I'm going to set to the default here. Okay, so the next tab, I know you guys can't see it because my webcam is in the way, it's called lighting, and this is the tab I'm going to be covering today. So right here you have your brightness control, and this controls the brightness of your keyboard. Hold on, I'm just, just going to close this blind because it's super bright. Okay, now I've closed the blind, and what we're going to do is this controls the lighting of your keyboard. So I'm going to bring my webcam down so you guys can see the keyboard. Okay, so right here is my keyboard. Oh, I don't know. I don't know if you guys can see. There it is. And this is the lighting I have it set to. So when I press a key, see how it ripples throughout the whole keyboard. So I'm pressing the H key. It ripples throughout the whole keyboard. It looks very cool. So I'm gonna set it to a lower brightness. So as you guys can see, there's the trail. I'm gonna set it down. And now the bright. Now I turn the brightness all the way down. And as you guys can see. The keyboard is off, so I'm going to turn it to 50% now. Okay, now the brightness is at 50%, and it looks like this. And now I'm going to turn the brightness all the way up to 100%, so, okay. Okay, now we are at 100%, and now it's the brightest it can go. So, this effect right here, switch off lighting. Okay, switch off lighting, what that does is... You could turn to switch off the keyboard lighting when your display is turned off or when your computer is idle for whatever amount of minutes. So when your display is turned off, your keyboard will, will turn off by the setting. Or when your computer is idle for the amount of minutes you set. So I set my, so if my computer is idle for one minute, then the keyboard lights will shut off. So I think that's pretty convenient. And the, up here are your profiles. It, this doesn't really matter here. I just have it set to wave. I have different profiles set on a different computer so I cannot access them correctly. So my keyboard right now is set to advanced effects. And what this does is it, if this is Chroma Studio. And this is what Chroma Studio looks like. And this allows you to customize your keyboard completely. But I'm not going to be covering this today because I had to set this up manually. It was super difficult to do. So... The only thing I'm going to be covering today is in the keyboard tab, in the lighting tab here. So the quick effects is what I'm going to be covering today. So there's different, so I'm going to be showing you the effects. So first is a very cool one, I agree. It's called ambient awareness. And what ambient awareness does 
is if you move a window, like a window on your screen, to the bottom, it will light it up more. Or if you move the window up, like higher to your screen, it will light up less. And you could do different presets right here. I don't really know how that works, but it does. Next one is audio metering, which just turns my keyboard off. And I think basically when you play music, the keyboard will sync to the music. I have not actually tried that out. I probably should. And so you could choose the color boost, which I would probably put to four. I think that would look really cool. Another one is called breathing. And basically it breathes. Like right now, as you can see, it's set to green, but we could do random colors. So if we turn random colors on, it will breathe random colors. So now it's breathing blue. Now it's going to be breathing what? Now it's breathing a darker blue, so it's just very, very nice. The breathing effect, I really like it. Okay, I almost put it back up on my monitor. <laughs> okay, another one is fire. This one looks really cool. There's no customization because you don't need to. You can customize how the fire effects look, like the color hue of the fire in the um, in the chroma or in this chroma studio software, which I have downloaded. So the fire looks like this. And as you guys can see, it's twinkling. I don't know if you guys can clearly see. But it is twinkling, which looks very nice. Another effect we have is reactive. And you might be asking me, Matthew, why did, why did the keyboard just turn off here? And that's because if you press a key, it turns on like whichever key you press. Oops, I didn't mean to do that. Put it back to reactive. So... Whichever key you press, like I'm pressing the space bar now, it lights up from the color you're choosing. And you can also choose the duration of that, so if we do a very long duration on the, on the, uh, on the slider, then as you can see, this lasts for a very long time. And I already showed you medium, and if we put it to a very short duration, you're going to see this lasts for a very short duration here. See how short that is? Okay. And you can choose the color of that, obviously. So if we want to do a red color, then we could do that. See how that looks? That looks very nice. Okay. Another one is Ripple. And this is very cool. So you could, again, choose the color of it. So I'm just going to choose white just for showing you guys. But you can choose any color you want. You can also set a custom color in the software, which I think is very cool. So, um, this ripple effect is if we press a key, it ripples throughout the whole keyboard. So, since I've chosen white, if we press down on a key, look at that. See that? This ripples throughout the whole keyboard. So, if I press a key, like the J key I'm pressing right now, and if I press a key like, oh, I don't know, the tilde key, it will ripple like this, like a different way here, as you guys can see. If I press the J key, it ripples in both directions. See the difference? So, this is the tilde key. And this is the J key. So it ripples in a different pattern. I love that effect, by the way. You can choose any color you want. So uh, I'm going to try out my favorite color, red. And now, as you guys can see, it is red. And I think that looks very, very, very dope. Hope you guys think so, too. Um, there's other effects, too like spectrum cycling this is what your keyboard comes with by default but to change the lighting you do have to install this software which is what i'm showing you so this it just switches through all the spectrums so as you can see now it's yellow and now it is turning green now it's green it's kind of hard to see on the camera now it is turning to a turquoise teal color and now we're turning into light blue and now we're going into sort of blue, and now it's going to purple and stuff like that. So it like switches between colors very smoothly. So another one we have is starlight. Now this makes it twinkle, as you can see. Now I have it set to random colors, so there is an option for random colors. You could do two colors. So if we turn off random color, you could do different colors. So the first color by default is green, and it would only flash green. If we choose a different color, like, uh, I don't know, blue, then it would ripple, or then it would starlight green and blue. I think a very nice combination would be blue and red, so I'll change it to that. And now, as you guys can see, it's red and blue. Very nice for 4th of July. Um, so, yeah. 
And my favorite option is random color. So just twinkles random colors. And you can choose the duration here and the duration. So if you set it to long duration, it will twinkle for longer, but there'll be less things happening. So as you guys can see, there is less things happening, but it does twinkle for longer. I think that accounts for the longer uh, keystroke what it does. Medium is default, and as you can see, it does it for quite, it, it kind of fast, but short makes it go very short. Uh, Starlight, and it also makes it go really fast. So I'm going to show you that. So here is short. As you can see, it's going very, very fast. It looks really, really nice. Okay, so the another one is static. This one is kind of boring compared to all the other ones. All it does is it sets one color to the keyboard. So right now, it defaults to green because it's razor, and that's their color. We could do a different color like red, and it fades into red. Check that out. But it is just one color. It stays one color. I know on camera it kind of looks orange, but in, in real life, this is red. This camera is just not the best webcam in the world. Um, we also have, we could do different ones. Let's do blue. And see how it fades into blue. And even the keycaps, as you guys can see below. Hopefully it focuses. Yeah, that keycap down there, that is also blue. So that's, that's what makes this keyboard very nice, too. The keycap also changes, too. So, yeah. Um, okay, so let's do another one. So let's try out red. Or we already did red. It just fades into it through static colors. Uh, probably my personal favorite is Wave. So you guys, you probably see this in a lot of YouTubers' videos. And it just, like, if they're showing off a new mechanical keyboard, chances are they're going to use this effect, the Wave effect. And it waves throughout the keyboard in RGB lighting, as you guys can see. And you can choose the direction of the wave. So if I choose this way, the wave will turn this way. So you guys can see it's waving this way. And if we change it to be this way, then the wave will go this way. Okay. And the last one is wheel. This one might be a bit hard to see, but it basically is it's the same thing as wave, but it doesn't wave sideways. It waves around the keyboard. Well, let me show you. So I click on wheel, and hopefully you guys can see. But it's waving around the keyboard, and that looks very cool. Um, so those are all the presets. Oh wait, actually you can change change the direction of this too. So by default it is set to going to the uh, to the right, or no, yeah, <laughs> no, it's actually set to default by going to the left. But we could also do a new one by going to the right. And as you can see, it's doing counterclockwise now, and we could choose clockwise here, and now it goes clockwise. That's very nice. And those are all the effects, but my personal favorite is what I customized myself in the Razer Chroma effects software. It kind of looks similar to Wave, but as you can see, the number pad is going insane right now. So that is all you need to know about the lighting effects for a Razer keyboard in the Razer Synop 3 software. Hopefully you guys enjoyed. Hopefully you guys learned something useful in this video. And I'll catch you all in the next video. Bye-bye. Oh, there, there's the webcam. Okay, see ya.